I had a channeled message come through that I feel is very important for me to share. So I'll share the message and then explain it further. So the message was, the twin flame journey is an internal journey, not another person. It's a journey, a specific method of spiritual development that those who relate to the understanding of the term had chosen before this incarnation to experience soul development through the means of the twin flame path of learning, which means that these souls chose to spiritually awaken and come more into oneness through romantic relationship. The significance of this message that Spirit wants me to get across and what differs from most of the common information we're all taught about twin flame journeys is that this is a journey, not a person. I'm being told that for some, and maybe the majority of twin flames, the journey can be taken with one person. The person who initially causes an awakening within you. The person you experience all of the different phases with. The running, chasing, separation, and ultimate union. But for many twin flames, this journey is taken with a number of soulmates who mirror everything we've been taught as indicators of a twin flame. That's why we often feel so much pain and attachment to these people and almost an obligation to stay stagnant when the relationship is no longer serving us. We have previously acquired many terms for these twin flame lookalikes, such as karmic, false twin, etc. But Spirit wants to make a point to say that these terms aren't exactly accurate. Now, on the twin flame path, you do have a true twin flame, a true mirrored soul who you are meant to unite with. But Spirit is saying that you can experience the learning phase of the journey before even ever meeting them. You can be triggered into deep healing through what feels like magical energetic encounters, which include everything we know the twin flame journey to include. But you experience those things with other soulmates. You can have synchronicities, receive signs, have profound spiritual experiences with these soulmates because you are indeed on the twin flame journey and those are the unique ways in which we chose to develop. But it is absolutely possible for you to experience the more painful learning part of the journey through soulmates. Allow them to leave your life at the proper time and eventually meet your true twin flame counterpart after you have cultivated all of that inner healing throughout your journey. Some of you are destined to meet your twin in exactly this way. And when you finally meet, you will have cultivated inner union of your own divine masculine and divine feminine energies, and you'll meet them when they have cultivated the same. You won't have to repeat the painful cycles that are standard for the twin flame journey with your true twin. It's almost like your true twin is your reward for walking the often painful journey that is the twin flame journey. I feel like this message will come as such relief for many of us who on our path have stayed in or are continuing to stay in a dynamic that is just absolutely not serving us anymore. We know for a fact that we are on this journey and for us to quote unquote give up on it feels like an abandonment of the journey and the label altogether. This is why many people on the journey end up giving up the term twin flame. They rid it all together when they finally admit to themselves that this person that they were clinging to isn't right for them. What they don't realize is that they have in fact walked a genuine true twin flame path, but their true divine match wasn't who they walked the painful parts with. They end up meeting their true twin after they give up the label because that was their surrender their surrender to their higher self and what it's telling them, and a surrender into trust that true divine love is meant for them, no matter what. Spirit is saying that this abandonment of the twin flame journey is not necessary for you to achieve this ultimate surrender. 
There is no need to invalidate your twin flame journey just because it looks differently to what everyone teaches you it's supposed to be. Some twin flames do walk the entire journey with just one person, but not all twin flames do. Most twin flame information pertains only to a specific type of twin flame journey, and that information absolutely is true and valid for that collective. But there are many more complex paths that are all still genuine twin flame paths. This is a journey that requires us to learn the lessons of trust and surrender to a higher power along with the lesson of ultimate self-love. Imagine the most heart-wrenching surrender of letting go of a person who you know deep down to be causing you more pain than love. Someone who you love deeply and have attached your entire twin flame journey to. How painful a thing to let go of it, even though you know it's for your highest good. But then imagine as a reward for radical self-love, you then finally meet your true divine match. This is the reward that is promised through the twin flame journey. Spirit wants this message to be heard because so many on this path get stuck because of information on this topic being so limited. So my hope with this message is that if you're on this path, you always choose self-love. And sometimes surrender is more than just being okay stuck waiting on someone to change who was never going to. If you have related to any twin flame information and taken that on as your truth, then it is your truth. If it's self-loving to let someone go, you are not abandoning this journey. You may just be leaping forward into your true divine union.